Um, I wanted to clarify what I, what I screamed earlier. I screamed the word yes. Um, <laughs> I was just really excited. <laughs> um, but my parents immigrated here with basically no money from Vietnam. Okay, because you said your parents were super rich from Vietnam. <laughs> you screwed up my moment, man. I know, I'm so sorry. All I right. was just really excited. So just to, to be clear, they said. came with almost no money from Vietnam. Yeah, and now we all- Honestly, God, God bless your parents. Yeah. They're, they're great patriots. Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm you. glad you're here. So. We own our own private business, and I'm a living example of why white privilege does not exist. So let me get to my point. I'm a 17-year-old high school student. Wow. Um, I drove an hour over here just to see you. <laughs> um, I'm a member of the Turning Point USA ch uh, chapter at my high school, and we actually hope to get Isabel Brown there soon. So my question is: is whenever I try to open up con co co yeah. whenever I try to open up controversial topics at my school, no one ever really wants to talk about it because they just don't want to. And my question was: is is it because politics just aren't for everyone or not? And is there, should there be a age to when people should be able to talk about and have these conversations about politics? All ages should talk about it. Only, we shouldn't lower the voting age though. Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a very bad so, idea. Um, so. <laughs> but uh, we should not lower the voting age. But um, I, I just want to applaud you, man, for your leadership at Turning Point. And I'd Thank say, look, a lot of, just look around though. Look how promising this. People are standing here for hours just to hear about political philosophical debates. That's, that's a good thing, regardless yeah. of where you approach oh. these issues. Um, and high school honestly enjoy the fact that not everyone wants to talk about politics all the time because that that's uh, it's actually kind of refreshing to hear that that there's still a remnant of that but uh, uh yes and no i would say um and i just wanted to ask like this is a bit of an extreme example but um what age should the conversation be opened up though through politics like should eighth graders be talking or debating about abortion <laughs> yeah i think that probably like 12 years old like let me think 12 would be fifth or sixth grade I think fifth or sixth grade is where politics should start to be discussed. Yeah. Okay. And then my but not, not too deeply, like a surface level. Deeply. Yeah. Yeah. And then my final question is, is for people who are st still learning and growing their minds, like me, I'm 17. What would your advice to be for people who just want to debate more? And yeah. So more debate less and read more. So you, you got to read at least a hundred <laughs> books a year. Okay. hundred books a year. If you, if you aren't reading a hundred books a year, you're not serious about your intellectual journey. You might say that's too many. You can listen to them too, right? Uh, the best, mo spend less money on booze, alcohol, drugs, and nightclubs, and more money on audiobooks. Okay. Your life will be better. Okay. Trust me. Uh, I'm, I, I try to be a living example of that. I try to read a hundred, 120 books a year. I'm always listening to stuff, always reading stuff. I don't remember it all, but I remember a fair amount of it. And it just creates you into a happier, deeper, wiser person. Um, and the more you dedicate yourself to reading, debating will become easier. Okay. 